Hi guys, we're here with one of the fighters who are fighting on the August of the 25th. You want to introduce yourself? Hey guys, uh, Mike Somerville. I'll be fighting here August 25th, St. John, uh, Lord Beaverbrook for Fighting Alliance 7 Legends. Uh, it's going to be a stack card. Come check it out. I'm the only local guy on the card, so uh, come support. Yeah, coming back your local guy. <laughs> So Mike, I understand that you've been training BJJ for about five or six years now, is that correct? Uh, almost uh, going on seven, seven years now, BJJ. I uh, started back in 2011, November 2011. Yeah, so i uh, been pretty consistent with Jiu Jitsu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, purple belt now. Purple belt now. Yeah. When did you get your purple belt? I got my purple belt November last year. November last year? Last year. Okay, so about... Uh, Six, seven, eight months or something like that yep. right now. Yeah, fair exactly. enough. That's pretty cool. And uh, I understand that uh, you were telling me before, you've also said in your other MyFi clip, you, typical as us teenagers, watching martial arts films growing up, any particular martial artist that got, caught your eye, that maybe turned your decision to say, I'm going to fight now, or uh, I'm going to land a fight? Definitely. Uh, on back, Tony Jaa. Oh, yes. Yeah. He was... <laughs> uh, a contributing factor for sure. I uh, was obsessed with the on back film, some Muay Thai. Super interesting, very deadly art. So that really piqued my interest to start training other things. Uh, so I did start with Jiu Jitsu and then when I built a decent base in Jiu Jitsu, then I started to cross train, uh, doing boxing, doing kickboxing, basically anything I could get my hands on. Awesome. Yeah. So what do you train your boxing and your kickboxing? Uh, I work with Brian Maserell. Uh, he's my, I guess I could say my kickboxing coach, uh, as well as coach John Kelly here at MXT. I do a fair amount of work with him as well, mm -hmm. and I have worked with uh, Tim Hayes and uh, KB Golden Gloves. Oh yeah, KB yeah, Golden Gloves, yeah. He's, he's got a very good uh, boxing club going on. Yeah. There. So, finally now, I think you've only had two fights before in your entire tenure. Yeah. yeah one two. win and one loss. One uh, win, one loss. Right. And the loss was a pretty strong fight regardless. It was against Brad, wasn't it? Brad yeah, Sullivan. Brad Sullivan. A really good fighter. Won all three rounds. Uh, he got the nod in the end from the judges. But uh, a great learning experience nonetheless. Mm -hmm. uh, really, really showed me where I stood uh, in the martial arts game and uh, where I needed to improve. Yeah. So regardless of the loss, I, I walked away with uh, with much more experience. Well, I always say you either win or you learn, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Brad Sullivan's also on this card as well. I don't know if you know. Hopefully you bump into him. <laughs> say hello to him. Say hi awesome. to him. Yes. Be polite about it. Awesome. For sure. Awesome. For sure. So it's safe to say, I mean, I've discussed with you several times, um, martial arts is like a strong force in your life as well. I think I've asked you this on John's podcast, Judo's podcast, the Black Belt interview. Yep. Um, you ever considered going pro? Would you like to go pro? Uh, it's certainly not out of the question. Uh, I definitely have a little more work to do at the amateur level first. But um, at the rate I'm training, uh, I don't see why not. I mean, a couple more fights, a couple good performances, uh, and I think I would take that leap, absolutely. Good. It's a very yeah. diplomatic answer. Well done. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so. Final question I ask everybody. What does martial arts mean to you? Oh man, um, martial arts is pretty well the driving force in my life right now. Um, it took me away from a bad scenario. I was basically just partying a lot, you know, letting myself go, not taking care of my body. So getting into martial arts really put me on the right path. Um, taught me a great many things. Uh, taught me how to be a better person, not just while training on the mats, but off the mats as well. Altogether, it's just helped you like grow as a yeah, person, yeah. a decent man in your life. Yeah, right. exactly. So, how are you feeling for this fight coming up? I'm feeling really good, mm. really good. Um, been training my ass off three times a day, six days a week, so it should awesome. be good. It's been a long time since your last fight, right? Yeah, it's been a year and some, so yeah. Year and change. Yeah, year right, and some awesome. change. All right, well, Mike Somerville, thank you very much. He will be fighting on August the 25th at FA7 Legends at the Lord Beaverbrook Rink. See you guys there. Awesome. Yeah, just that last part, I fucked up on. Don't worry, dude. You did it very well otherwise.